Hi there and welcome. In this video I'm going to show you my current workout and that's the ideal program from Mike Manser but with a personal twist. I changed it a bit so it's going to be a little bit more like a full body program and because I only work out one time a week it's better this way. This is part one of the program and I start with a calf press. Reason why I start with the calf press is because I want to be fresh in my mind so I can focus more on the muscle and really push it through the limits. Many times you see people, they go to the gym, they train their legs and at the end they do their calf, uh, the calf exercise and just see them just bouncing up and down just trying to get uh, through the exercise as fast as possible. And especially with a calf exercise, with the calf muscle, you really have to push it through the limits to get all the benefits of the exercise. With this exercise, whenever I reach positive failure, I'm going to push the weight up like a leg press, but then on my toes and slowly lower the weight. And I do this two or three times until I'm not able to safely lower it very slowly. Then the set is finished. Second exercise from this program are the leg curls. In this exercise you're working the hamstrings and it's the back of your leg muscles. With this exercise I really like the top position where you raise the legs all the way up and squeeze the muscles. With this particular machine, it's, uh, uh, the top position is very hard, so it's really uh, fighting for these last few inches. Once in a while I just like to push myself a little bit through the limits and when I reach positive failure then still I want to do a little bit more. I do this occasionally and then I'm going to do some uh, rest pause reps and what that means I just take about 10 seconds of, uh, of rest that my muscles can refuel themselves let's say and, uh, and, and fuel themselves again with oxygen. Most of the time after 10 to 15 seconds there's still enough for one more repetition and then I finish again with a, a static hold and a slow negative. And sometimes like this time I even go a little bit further with uh, when one drop set. Just drop enough weight that I can go immediately then I don't wait 15 seconds but I go immediately drop the weight and make another repetition. And then again I finish with a slow negative. So the next exercise is going to be the leg extensions. With the leg extensions you train the quadriceps, that's the front part of your leg. This is also the 
one of the few exercises and maybe even the only exercise that I'm going to do a warm up. And the reason why is because when I do this with my heaviest weight, I feel a little bit of a tension on my knees. Whenever I do a pre-exhaust workout, I'm trying to block out actually that I'm going to do another exercise immediately after this. And uh, it's uh, uh, difficult, <laughs> but it's the only way to prevent that with the first exercise you quit actually before you reach positive failure. So at this moment while doing this exercise I try to focus fully on the exercise when I'm doing and fully on the muscles that are contracting and don't want to think about the terror and the, uh, the terror of the leg press that is still to come. At the end of this exercise I give myself two options or I go uh, like this time I go to positive failure and then go to the next exercise or I'm even doing some rest pause reps maybe one or two it all depends on how I'm feeling mentally. After this exercise I go as fast as possible try not to fall because your legs are very weak so you have to be careful try to stumble and struggle go to the next exercise is going to be the leg press and go as fast as possible at this moment it's about 15 seconds that I could do this because I always now at this time I had to I had my camera with me so but most of the time I can do this in about 10 seconds to start with the next exercise at this moment my quads are really burning like hell already and I really try to focus on pushing the weight up without too much explosive power. I like to position the seat like this that when I'm in the bottom position that the weight is barely touching. It's just touching and it's not touching. As soon as I feel it barely touching it's for me to go up again. At this moment I also try something new. And it's with this leg press, the bottom position is very heavy and then at the end it's going to be a little lighter. So it's going to be a little bit more easy, that's why I also don't go all the way up. And uh, the new part is that I'm going to uh, focus more on the uh, last part of the press until I feel that I'm reaching failure there and then I slowly under control let it go. You see me also putting my hands up by my legs, not touching them, but as soon as I feel that the weight is really dropping, then I can safely help my legs and bring the weight till the stopping point. From here to the next exercise takes me about four or five minutes just to relax, just to get my mind back. And there's also the reason why I start with a lateral raise because the lateral raise doesn't take so much out of you so I can switch a little bit faster between the exercises a little bit about the repetition with most repetitions with most exercises I like to start from that point like here and then slowly remove uh, slowly reverse the movement and as soon as I'm a little bit in movement I try to force a little bit more pressure so the first second is uh, very slow and under control and after that I just put more pressure on the muscle that the speed goes up a little bit
With this exercise, I always like to finish with a static hold and a very slow negative. Next exercise is going to be the dips. I have, again, after the lateral raise, I have two options. Or I jump immediately to the dips, or I give myself one minute rest and then do the dips. This exercise is perfect to train your triceps and finish off the shoulders with a little bit assistance from the chest. I like to start this exercise with the grip that my palms are facing down. I feel with this, uh, with this grip, I have a little bit more tension on the outside of the triceps. As soon as I reach failure, I'm going to change my grip, like here, and then I still have energy for a few more repetitions. At this moment, the chest comes more in play and helps me just push out a few more repetitions. And also with this exercise, I like to do the last repetition with a static hold and a slow negative. This is again some exercise that is very bad for your ego. Reason why? Because you can't use heavy weights. Like at this moment I'm using 6 kilograms. That's about 13 or 14 pounds of dumbbells. And it's just impossible to do heavier weights in the maximum contracted position. You, can, you see many people just throw the weight up and why? Uh, because actually it's too heavy it's just a very small muscle what you're using and that's the rear side of your shoulder with some assistance from your back from your uh, trapezius but when you do it correctly you use the least of these muscles as possible and then it becomes very heavy So after this ego busting exercise, it's time for the last exercise for today. And that's again a pre-exhaustion. So the last exercise for today is a biceps curl. 
Not the regular bicep curl what you see everybody doing in the gym. But this bicep curl is done in the lead pull machine. If you never did this exercise, then you don't know what you're missing. In the fully contracted position, there's so much tension on the, on the biceps. It's really incredible. You really feel it squeezing. It's almost popping out of your arm. This exercise is also perfect to make it as a pre-exhaust because you're already in the right machine. So after this, I'm going to change the weight and make it into a lead pull down to finish off the biceps with the help from my uh, back muscles. The weight that I'm using is the same weight to what I can do about eight repetitions. This is also a great exercise for your grip, for your grip strength, your forearm strength. The last repetition you see me doing with a rest pause, I just take a few moments, get my energy back, put it in position, put it all the way down and hold it as long as possible. But this was my workout for today and now to show off what the results are. And if people are wondering what kind of diet I do to get into this, uh, this shape at almost 50 years old, I don't look at the calories. I just cut out most carbs. I'm eating about between 20 and 50 grams of carbs. Sometimes I go a little bit higher, but not on purpose. And it's a high fat and a medium, medium amount of protein. It's all animal based, I don't eat any fruits and almost never eat any vegetables. Just meat, some milk, raw milk, eggs, some cheese. And that's it actually, nothing special. If you want I can make a complete video on the things that I eat uh, during the day and how I eat it and when I eat it. So if you're interested, just post in the comments below and I gladly make a video about it. Okay, see you next time.